Well, good morning, and welcome to the very first episode of Drift. It is in early access on Steam for $19.99. My birthday was recently, and my good friend and co-conspirator in several games, including Valheim, bought me this for my birthday because he knew I really wanted it. One of the things I did learn is that it actually moved my game from the demo over, which I was not expecting. But we are going to start from the beginning. So we're going to start a new game. We're going to start an offline game. And let's get started. And we are day one orbiting an unknown planet. Good, you are awake. I think we're the only ones left. Can you move? And yes, I seem to be able to move. Getting back home won't be possible without resources. A lot of them. Collect small asteroids that float by with E. If you're looking for a specific element, hold C, and I will scan nearby asteroids. This field is full of debris. Some of it's valuable. I've highlighted some nearby floating wreckage for you to check out. If you can't catch it, don't worry. There's bound to be more. All right, so. Oh, wait, collect that. We can't use asteroids by themselves to get started. Press tab to open your inventory. Well, we want to just deconstruct that first. Anything else we want to deconstruct? Ooh, lots of, lots of wreckage here. So we're going to get all that. Well, all we can reach easily. Okay. So, what do we have here? Oh, we have an asteroid. And we got some carbonate rock from it. Other items like carbonate rock and silicon rock can be crushed by hand as well. Later technologies would unlock additional processing methods. This place is feeling cramped. Press B to open your build menu. Okay, so looks like we've run out of materials. See if we can reach that now. Um, not really. Can we reach this one? Nope. All right. Well, we can reach this one. We just have to take a little bit of the leap of faith here. But we're going to have to be careful because, well, we're running out of oxygen doing that. All right. What? What should we do? I know what we should do. We should go grab that. All right. Let's go to build. Ah, we have a crafter, research station, and a smelter. Nothing we can build yet, so we need more materials. Oh, come here, come here, come here, come here. All right, back, 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 because we haven't been able to make anything yet. Okay, y'all are all too far away. I wonder what happened. And why are we on a random platform orbiting a strange alien world with a giant asteroid field that, I don't know, kind of reminds me of Saturn? <laughs> oh! Asteroid, grab it! Mm, we can't reach that one. We got one. Anything else coming close by? Are you close enough? No, you're not close enough. You're not close enough. 
So they're coming from this direction. All right. Oh, we got two. Got some more iron. Got some ice. Good. We'll need that. All right, get over here faster. I'd like not to die. We need more of that. We're gonna need lots more everything. But right now, we definitely need more of that. <gasps> Looks like we have enough to build a smelter. To get started, press B to open your build menu. Select the smelter under crafting. Look at the ground, press R to rotate, and left click to place. You can also hold control to snap into place. I'm going to put you right there. Press right click. Okay, approach your smelter and press E. And we need some crushed carbon to make a carbon filter, which we are desperately in need of. Ah, we have our very first carbon filter, which we are going to use because we're running out of oxygen. And we're going to change the recipe. I'm going to make some nutrient paste, too, because we need to eat. Okay. We have a spare one of those, and we'll have it make one more filter for us. Okay. Well, with that done, remember if you're looking for specific element, hold C and I can scan nearby asteroids for you. Yes, I know. I know you can. All right, we'll scan the asteroids if it'll make you happy. Let's look for carbon. And it looks like we have quite a few of them coming our way. Very good. Come on. Your suit has a flashlight which can help navigate night and darker areas. It can be used in low mode for free. But with a charged battery in the suit, it can really put out some light. A lot of people have compared this game to Raft in space, including me. Because I would definitely agree that that's the kind of feel it has. Which I really like. Because I have played Raft, and yes, I have played Raft with Gus. It's a fun game. Can I get this one? All right, we have a few now. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got some more carbonate, some more silicate, some more silicate, some more carbonate, carbonate, lots of carbonate. Very good. All right, we'll pull that one out and we'll go ahead and make start making a couple more. Let's go ahead and scan for ice this time. Oh, not as many of those. Got a couple though. Yeah, I know. Fortunately, I have a spare on me. Oof. We don't want to stay out here too, too long. We'll grab some asteroids on the way back. All right. And only one of those was ice. Okay. We will use another one of those grab another one of those and we got two more that we're making and you have to wonder how how are you eating crushed rock 
mixed with ice is a human. And how are you out here in space and not dying? Well, the secret is, I don't know what you are, but you're not human. In fact, I've seen images of what you are. You can actually see the outline of what you are here. You're not human. I don't know. Some sort of alien... reptilian or amphibious race. At least that's what it looked like. So, I guess we're going to have to give our alien here a name. But what should we name? Name him. I don't know. Oh, hi. I'll take you. <laughs> You're just going to randomly show up. All right. I think we are at that point where we need to start thinking about storage, but we can't yet. What are we missing? Oh, I know what we're missing. Okay. It's something we're going to have to make. So, do we have enough to make the next piece of tech we need? The crafter. Indeed we do. We'll go ahead and put you over here next to that okay that's what we need right there iron plates we only need like two of them okay now we should be able to make a chest we'll put that one long chest right here for now now one thing I did notice from the beta to live they changed the chest it used to be these chests had a lot more space they do not have nearly the space they used to have I'm a little disappointed in that but maybe that will change again in the future who knows all right, we need it to get those out of our inventory so we can grab more stuff. Okay, we got some rocks coming. Come here. Okay, got you. Gonna get you. No, you're going too fast. Okay. Get that one, though. All right, what do we get? Iron and carbon. Okay, we need... We're feeling a little, uh, like we should have something more than... Can make a little bit more floor. That might help out. I want that. <laughs> I don't quite feel like I'm half a second from falling off the edge now. Oh, that's right. I need some of that. I need that. <laughs> I want to make a couple more of those. One, two, three. I'll make four more. And what were you? More of that. Very good. Oh, 
Oh, can't get too far away from the base. But you have to be willing to risk it. You know? All right, what all do we get? Okay, more carbonate, more carbonate, more silicate. We'll need that. More carbonate. All right, so carbonate and silicate that time. <laughs> our, our helper droid just knocked it down off from its trajectory. Luckily, I was still able to grab that. Thanks, drone. Could you please stay out of the way? Okay, more iron. Ooh, a whole bunch of stuff coming. Okay. Grab. Oh, some of it coming faster than others. I'm going for it. And I'm going to grab you too while I'm out here. Because why not? Okay, what else did we get? Ice. Silicate. More silicate. We could build another more, a couple more four pieces, but I don't know. I want to see what else I can get. And what am I short on here? Iron and copper. Let's look for copper. Oh, got a nice bit of iron out of that. We didn't get a single bit of copper. I thought we scanned for some copper. Whoa. Come here. I don't know what you are, but I'm grabbing you. We're definitely running out of space. We're already going to need another uh, chest. All right, that's enough. You know, I think I have enough materials for other stuff now. Okay, what? What do you want me to do now? what else can we make in here iron plates wiring and silicon wafers that's it you know maybe maybe our our alien here was part of an advanced exploration team for a mining company and they were supposed to come out here and get samples so they could bring them back to test and see if this asteroid field was worth mining or not. But something happened and maybe they got hit by a big asteroid. The details are a little foggy. All, all our alien remembers is that there was an explosion. And when he came to, there wasn't much left of the ship. And of course, we know the rest from there. We still don't know his name. Oh, got some more copper. Not much more copper, but a little bit. Got a little bit more ice, too. A lot more carbonate. 
Not that we should complain about having the carb in it. All right. Now we need some of that silicon. And we want to make some of these. All right, these should be done. They are. So we'll put that in here, along with the extra water. And the extra food. I need to build this too then. Research station. So it said it, we needed 10 wire and 10 plates. All right, and the plates are iron. That's easy. The wire is also easy. It is copper. Alien technology detected, huh? Where? Way up there? Yeah, you can forget it. We're not going all the way out there with the little bit of power that we actually have. That alien technology can go away. All right. I was going to say, did I get them all? Yes, I did. So we need a research station. Put you right here for now. So, suit propulsion. Five carbonate dust, 10 iron plates, and five water. So we just need to make a little bit more water. All right, we'll start that research. And while we're at it, we'll go ahead and make a few more plates. We done here? Not quite. I love how it just so slowly sinks. Grab that. Where is this tack? I don't see nearby tech. I don't know what you're talking about. I see nothing. I have devised a way to make energy-based jetpacks so you can save oxygen and move faster. Build a propulsion system, battery pack, and battery in the crafter, and enjoy. All right, so... We need to make a propulsion system, a okay. So we need to make a propulsion system. We need to make the batteries to make the battery pack. Okay, let's do that. So we have that, which we don't need all of that. Thank you. We only need one propulsion system. We need that, and we need two of those silicone wafers.
that in there. And that'll take a little bit. So in the meantime, tractor beam. Oh, ship structure, but we need, wait, wait, 50, 10, and 10, we can do that. 50. Close enough. Close enough. <laughs> Begin that research. Now we'll be able to do more than think about being safe. <laughs> oh, we should probably use another one of those. All right, so we have our first part. We have our propulsion system. Now we can equip that, although without the battery. Ah, I think it's pretty useless at the moment. Yeah. So we need to make batteries next. Water, iron plates. We need more wire. Okay, hold on. Take that out. After analyzing the floors further, I've designed new blueprints for walls. In case you decide to build big, I've also added blueprints for stairs and columns. Okay. Very good. We can build walls now. But what were the... Wire. Alright. Let's put up a couple of walls. Shall we? First off, what do we need for those walls? Silica and iron plates. We're not going to put up too many walls at this rate. Oh, and we also have walls with windows, which we need glass, which is made in the smelter using silicate powder. So we'll go ahead and do that too. That's done. Now, maybe it wasn't done. <laughs> Batteries. Put that in. Put. Oop. Hold on. All these little steps that I forget. We need more plates. Because we have two things at the same time that need plates. The fun thing about this game is that not only is it... You can play it single player, but you can play it co-op with friends. All right. So we have those. Now we can start our batteries. And that's the wrong, that was the wrong key. So we want to put those in there. We want four water. We want eight plates. Close enough. Well, there. We need lots of these, so I'm just going to stick those all in. All right. Now, let's put up a couple of walls. I'm going to put up a couple of pain walls. And 
I'm gonna put up. Oh, what am I missing? Silicate. Do I have any more? Luckily, I do. I did mention that we would use it. We're gonna use a lot of this stuff to start with. Alright, so our sides are covered. But we still have a lot of work ahead of us. And I will be doing some of that off screen. So, until next time. Bye for now.